Hey everyone, I recently attended the third annual U Camp trailer rally put on by New Camp. I found this to be a great opportunity to walk around and check out some of the mods that everybody's done to their campers. So if you have a tag, tab, or tab 400, here are some quick ideas for some customizations you can do to your tiny trailer home. Hi, I'm Mike, and in our tab 400, one of the things important to me was the closet, but the closet space wasn't utilized very well, so I decided to put some shelves in there, and after drawing a pattern in the bottom of it, I found out that uh, you could use some of the uh, cubbies that are in there as the shelf flip and just put uh, rails in there for the things that you could not uh, set directly on the shelf. All of the shelves are removable, so if you still need to hang something up, you can take one or two shelves out. This is one of uh, my favorite mods. This is a table that I basically took out the other table. It's a little too large for me. And I found this piece of scrap wood. I went ahead and cut it back. It's got a raw edge, natural edge to it. I cut it back, sanded it, and stained it, and then put a coat of poly on it. And it's wonderful, as you can see, for just setting up a little bit of wine, some chocolates, and enjoying the day. Right. So one of the things that I was always trying to figure out is where to maybe put my jewelry or extra keys or something. So I bought these beautiful little pictures. I put 3M on the back, and then I put hooks on the inside. So you can basically either, you, if you want to hang your jewelry, if you want to put some keys in there, if you want to put a pocket and some extra cash, whatever you want, you can hide it away safe and sound and nobody would expect to see that. All right, so this mod I did was because I found myself trying to grab this door frame every time I exited. And so what I did is I found this wonderful little walking stick and I attached it at the top and the bottom. And now I have a way to be able to hold on the inside to walk in and out. Hey, my favorite modification that I did was I wanted a method of, just, of having my shirts hanging inside my camper. So I designed this little bar and uh, uh, a hanger, uh, like a, just a shirt hanger, and I put my shirts on here. These are my Jams World Hawaiian shirts. So it's an easy way for me to keep track of them and keep them where I can easily get to them and they're not all wrinkled. Okay. All right, so a great storage idea that I got, and you can get them on Amazon. Uh, they're originally made for Keurig cups, and we use them to store, obviously, Keurig cups, Tim Hortons, <laughs> and uh, my little catch-all for things that I need for storage. Bob Smith, and this is my full-time rear-view backup camera. It works great for backing up, but it's plugged into the parking light, so as long as my parking lights are running, then the rear view camera is running all the time, and I can see the traffic behind me, and it's uh, wireless. So I just have a little monitor plugged in, a 12 volt supply, right beneath the rear view mirror, and it works great. Okay, this is my uh, sewer fix that I found online. It holds my sewer hose and my gloves, and when I get done, I don't have to worry about putting it in a bag or a tub and putting it in the bathroom and then it just drains as I go home and it's it's just been a perfect saver and it locks and it matches the side of the camper. This is um, a box, two boxes actually that I found on Amazon and I mounted them on a tag out, out back. They store a lot of stuff as you can see and in and inside how I mounted it I took a metal strip and I put it all the way across with two bolts and I did not have to drill through the platform. The bolts go right through the holes in the platform with very large washers underneath and make sure you put lock nuts on them so they don't come loose. It closes and locks down with a key and the box can be mounted this way or this way or this way. Well thanks to Mandy Lee I figured out which one to pick. Works perfect. The original owner had put some heavy duty steel shelves underneath on each side so it sits on that nice and stable. Hold, I can put up the three propane tanks in here and two batteries. Uh, of course I'd have to lose some of the other stuff but it works great. 
All right. Hi, everybody. Now, some of y'all may have the older models, Dutchman or even the older New Camp trailers, and you may not have hot water. Well, I added an Insincorator instant hot water. All I did was plumb it into the bottom and drilled a hole in my countertop, and then you just turn it on right there. I did wire a plug underneath, um, and I plug it in when I need it, about five minutes ahead of time. And then when I'm done, I unplug it because it's just probably not safe to leave it plugged in all the time out in the weather. But it gives you hot water for soup, dishes, hot chocolate, oatmeal, all that kind of stuff. Okay, and as a mod to my kitchen this year, I've added a drawer. It's a double layer drawer. So I have utensils in the bottom, my silverware on the top. I put in the wall. I have gone totally collapsible with my pots, pans, bowls. They just go in, pop back out. And then in here, I put a false bottom in, so I have storage in the bottom. Hi, my name is Mimi Eberspacher, and I am lovingly, I guess, referred to as the wing wall lady. Um, I invented these in July of 2017, and they're designed to block the wind so that you can uh, use your propane stove if you have a clamshell on a tag, a tab, or a silver shadow. And I make them in solids and in prints, and I can even help you customize it. It's made of a 100% waterproof polyester fabric on the front and it's PVC coated on the inside so it's easy to wipe down. You can take a set down and up in less than uh, 30 seconds and they stow away. You roll them up and they just lay right across your galley and you're good to go. Hi everybody. Yeah, our focus here is is that in the tab 320 we're looking for a way that we could avoid the constant setup and tear down of the bed and so we thought that the twin bed would be our best option so I set out to build some uh, some benches to extend the uh, the seating area to make make for a twin bed so I built some maple benches solid maple out of three-quarter inch and those just slip right into place and with that in place all that's necessary is, uh, take a look at this one, is we just take the original seat cushion and move it out five and a half inches, and then we just have a spacer, uh, four inch spacer foam to uh, put behind there, and then we topped it off with a three inch memory foam sitting on top of that. And that gives us our, our twin bed configuration. We're still able to put our lagoon table in place and still use the table. And this way we avoid this constant uh, daily tear, you know, setup and tear down and all that. So we put the back down and we like to roll up our bed and we have a memory foam that we got at Kohl's with the 100 discount coupon. So we got it for a really good price and it's the three inch cooling gel. And that way we roll it up in the morning. I put a sheet on the bottom so it's easy to roll up like a sausage. And then we have a place to sit all day. And then at nighttime, we just remove the two cushions, roll it out, put the table down and we're good to go for the evening. These are my new cabinets. Decided to make use of some space that didn't seem very useful before. Um, brought back some natural birch from Salt Lake City back to the Midwest and put them in my cabinet shop. And it works. It gets, oh, look, dirty clothes. Mm. And there is some LED lighting under here. It, it In the center is a removable shelf. It has a vent extra vent for the heat and there is a 110 volt plus charging ports back there. Everything seems to stay in place when we're on the road, something it never used to do. Hi, um, one of my favorite mods here in our trailer is this bed bridge which is made all out of foam. I'm a terrible sleeper in here with these lumps and this thing shoved down between the cushions makes it so that I can sleep comfortably. I got it at Foam Factory if you're interested. Okay, my husband built this drawer. Well, I love it. It's uh, great. Uh, we have a little space heater that we actually can pull it out and set it right in there. And it keeps us nice and cool at night. Nice or nice and warm at night, you know. Um, it also holds our cards and pens, papers, all that. This camping thing just comes right off, you know. So, but it's the way we open our drawer. You have to open it from the top. And then he built this where the chains just unhook. And when they unhook, then it just falls flat against the 
wall like that. Hi, right, so I've done the upgrade on my fantastic fan that originally came with the three speed fan. And what I've done is this is all done from the interior is I upgrade it to the fantastic fan. That I forget them, I think it's 7350 upgrade. And what it does is you just do it all from the interior. It took me like 45 minutes. Um, you pull the down inside here and then you just add the new unit here and what it does is it added the remote to it it gets at 14 speeds instead of three speeds so that you get better amp draw when you're boondocking it's less amps and the nice thing about it is it opens up it opens into manual mode and then you can switch it to automatic by temperature so it will once the cabin gets at 70 degrees it will shut off and then when it starts to rain, it added the rain sensor as well. So when it was raining yesterday here, it would automatically close whenever the rain would start getting it. So it's a great item to have if you want to do a quick, simple upgrade that's just 30 or 45 minutes. Okay, and I had the dealer uh, add this max cover over my uh, fan and vent there uh, just to protect me when I'm traveling. I can leave it open at all times. So I don't worry about if it's open or closed. It's been, it was perfect. It was a good addition. I'm really happy I did that. Perfect. I'm Denny. Um, this is my e-scooter. Great for around the campsites. Um, I mounted it by just attaching two receivers to the frames underneath on a clamshell. I don't know if it works on others. Apparently, I don't think it does. These are aluminum. Um, they just slide in. Had all this just kind of welded and manufactured to, to, to fit and works out perfect. Been to Montana. I had to counter counterbalance with uh, I put a new box up front so I can load up the front end, so it's worked out perfect for me. This mod is essentially because I'm a photographer, and I've got batteries for cameras, flashlights, flashes, as well as my DeWalt tools. All this stuff charges out of here, and what I did was is I built some charging panels in the back using a USB and 12-volt socket that I found on the internet and 3D printed a uh, case to hold them in. I have found some afterwards that uh, don't require the 3D printer. All of this run on a 12 um, gauge line back to the fuse panel, so it's got its own separate fuse and it's all protected. So I can charge everything from this. Everybody has got a 400 has got this cushion and what the hell do you do with it? This one came to me this morning because I've been looking for ways to get it. And this is just a temporary solution, but basically just bungee cords are holding it up with command hooks. But it gets it out of the way. That's all I was after. We made our mods in the kitchen. This has been shown on some earlier blogs. It's just a windshield because the clamshells are more sensitive to the wind. So it's just a strip of aluminum uh, pop riveted together that holds that. This is an old piece of Corian and I just have some screen clips that hold that up and then we can just put that down and we have extra space to either put dishes or do food preparation. Now, some people are afraid to take that first leap into customizing your own camper. So hopefully some of these ideas have inspired you to put that first nail in the wall. For a full list of mods and links to some of the products, feel free to go to my blog, which links to my Amazon associate, which helps support us on the road. So here's to making an already perfect camper, perfect for you. Love and light. Love and light. Oh wait, I, I drink and then say love and light. Okay. <laughs>